Hi there, Social 30. We're here to tell you a little bit about the rise of the welfare state in Canada. So, as I said in our assignment, there were a lot of things that Canada did in the 1930s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and even 70s to increase government control over the economy. So they did that through the building of social programs. They did that through the building of work programs for laborers that had no money. And they did, they built crown corporations. So Mr. Kim and I are going to read some of the great things that Canada did to move us towards a welfare state. Number one, Canada used unemployed workers in the 1930s to build airstrips across the country, which would soon rapidly increase aviation industry in Canada. Number two, Establishing TransCanada Airlines as a crown corporation in 1937. It later became Air Canada. Number three, Canada created the National Harbour Boards, thus centralizing the administration of Canadian water ports. Number four, reforming the Canadian National Railway, which was heavily in debt. Damn CPR. Number five, helping to create the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, also known as the CBC, in 1936. Number something, the Bank of Canada became a crown corporation in 1938. Number something, we gained a national film board that made great Canadian movies. Number 18, the Unemployment Insurance Act, 1940, which created insurance for the unemployed as well as programs to help them find work. In 1944, there began, we began to get family allowances. So if you have babies, you get money, which is great. Number, last one, the National Housing Act of 1944 and the Central Housing and Mortgage Corporations of 1946, which created public housing programs for low-income families and provided mortgage loan insurance. So as you could hear, we gave you a riveting list of all the social programs, government spending, and crown corporations created in what was called the post-war consensus era. Thank you for listening. Thank you.